making sure that you choose the proper staining technique, uh, bright method versus fluorescence for your live dead cell counting. Depending on where your sample is coming from, uh, doing a, a bright field, so tripan blue versus a fluorescent uh, stain is, is really, really critical to make sure that you get an accurate count. Uh, so primary cells are notoriously difficult to count with your tripan blue stains. Um, that's because even if you do an isolation, you're still gonna, there's almost always some red blood cells contaminating the isolation. You have other debris from the isolation. You have plasmids that could be possible. Those are all gonna show in the background. If you're manually counting it, it's almost impossible to distinguish um, unless you're really, really highly trained. Um, is that a red blood cell? Is that a dead cell? Is that a live cell? You just don't, you just don't know. So if you're collecting primary samples, so from a ground tissue or from whole blood that even if you've done an isolation, you really need to be using fluorescence uh, for mac maximum accuracy. So when we're talking about fluorescence in live dead cell counting, we're talking about acridine orange and propidium iodide, or I'll, I'll be calling them AO and PI for the rest of this presentation. So you combine those two dyes together, they're commonly available, they're cheap, they're really not any more expensive than buying tripan blue. Um, and AO passes through the membrane of all cells and it stains the nucleic acids in that cells green, uh, they fluoresce green. PI can only pass through the membrane of a compromised cell and that stains all the nucleic acids in that cell red. Uh, uh, if you have a dead cell, both AO and PI are present or a cell with a compromised membrane, both AO and PI are present in that cell, but PI quenches the green signal from the AO dye. Uh, so if you have a green fluorescing cell, that must be a, a live cell uh, because PI was not there to quench the dye. And if you have a red cell, um, that must be a dead cell. So here's an example of a, a primary cell sample that we counted in our lab. Um, I believe this is uh, PBMCs, um, so peripheral blood mononuclear cells that were isolated from mouse whole blood. Uh, and you can see a bunch of green cells glowing very nicely, very clear that, that those are, are live cells. There's a few red cells as well, but then also behind that, you can see all kinds of other things. Um, a, a bunch of dark spots, those are probably cells. A lot of other things back there, you know, who knows what that is. But they, they're definitely not live or dead nucleated cells. If I count that exact same sample with tripan blue, uh, now you see a very different result. Uh, the total count is much higher. Um, you have more both live and dead cells present. So your viability is going to be off. You, you might think that your culture is not very good or your, your primary cell sample has, has a lot of death when, when really it doesn't. And your total cell count, your live cell count, your, your basic inputs into your experiment are going to be off as well. Um, so you're going to actually have much fewer cells than, than what you had thought you had. Um, so we have done some studies on this. Other, other people have done st studies on this. There's literature available um, that tripan blue overcounts uh, in our hands by a factor of two uh, when compared to AOPI when you're looking at a primary cell dilution. Uh, so, you know, lymph nodes, blood cells. Uh, you're, you're overcounting by a, a factor of at least two with tripan blue. Um, when you're looking at tissue culture, you see much less of a difference. You see good agreement between the two methods with tissue culture. And uh, these examples here, uh, the tissue culture are CHO and the primary cells are PBMCs. And we just did dilutions, verified them um, on a culture counter, 
and you know it's really startling to see the difference uh, with the primary cells of, of how different account that you get between the two methods uh, with the AOPI being verified to be more accurate. 